Hello and welcome guys, today we are going to learn how to clone your operating system windows um, As you can see I am using Markio Reflect version 7 I'm going to click on the drive that I want to use And I'll choose the option clone this OS um, This will open a pop-up windows which will allow me to select the drive that I want to clone the OS into And I'll just literally drag and drop the files of the OS like the partitions of the drive that I want to clone into the new drive. I'm um, just clicking next and OK a bunch of times and you are ready to go. Cool. So after we've done that, the program will ask us to make a backup. I have no idea how that backup works, so maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Um, it will warn you that if you the disk that you are going to clone the OS into is going to be permanently deleted. So, if you accidentally have something on that drive or you're not copying into the correct drive, make sure. Um, this process is being five times faster because fucking hell, I'm not going to keep you here for that long. But I should warn you, by the time this you're watching this video, I uh, the program that I am currently using is not 100% guaranteed to still have the feature of imaging and cloning an OS. Um, a lot of companies do that. Unfortunately, they like after they gain a lot of users, they like to put that feature behind a paywall, which is very unfortunate. But most likely, this will still work since all of to download this software, you need to register your own email and verify your email that way they know that you are an individual person that exists and not a company trying to exploit them or anything like that. As you can see, even with SSDs, the process is going relatively fast. That's because it's a somewhat of a fresh install of Windows and I am using two SSDs with the new one being much faster and will just allow for much more stability and better performance because the old one is kind of very trash. I also am doing this process for the next part of this video which is going to um, teach you how to merge and resize partitions because as you saw initially there is a partition that is just unused so that's 15 gigs that just are sitting there that was because that copy of the OS was also cloned from another PC which had less gigs. Uh, now that the process is done, it only took me about 80 minutes. You can see the performance of the drive is actually pretty good with 2 gigs in read and write, which is pretty fine. And if we go back, we can see that the two um, drives are indeed an exact copy of one another. The next part is also fairly simple. We are going to use AOMEI partition assistant, we are going to click on the drive that we want to resize or merge. In this case it is fairly simple since the drive we are wanting to merge is unallocated so we'll just pick that option and now all we need to do simply enough is just click apply on the top right. It will do, basically it will look the same as in the software we used before. Um, the taskbar is chugging along a bit but everything is fine and the drive has been resized and with that we finally have the extra 15 gigs that we were missing and as you can see the new drive does not have any unallocated partitions like the old one with that i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you next time until then bye